This traveling alone thing I'm kind of very new at. This is actually the first time I've been in a foreign city by myself. I've always done traveling with people, but never by myself. And it's sort of, it's an interesting experience because I can do whatever I want. I can go wherever I want. I can see whatever I want. Normally I'm super happy to let somebody else choose. And I just follow along. If there's nothing planned, I'm happy to sit around and do nothing. But I don't want to waste my time here, so I've had to get out and see it by myself. And I love it. I mean, it's always amazing being able to share the experience with someone. And Emma will be back in a couple of days, so I'll be fine. But it's a noisy road. But to do whatever I want is cool. Having to just sort of get out and do it yourself. Okay, so today I'm gonna go do a free walking tour of Budapest. I've really enjoyed these. You get to learn heaps of stuff about where you are. Um, it's like 9.30 in the morning and the sun is just, it's gonna be a really nice day. I just wish I bought some water. All right, all signed up. Tour's gonna start soon. Should be fun. And after you are going to have the energy and power to climb up an enormous mountain. tour was done it was awesome learned so much about this place I had no idea five invasions here it's pretty insane so now I'm gonna go find me some food I got a list of like traditional uh, Hungarian dishes that I have to try Okay, I went for a wander around the Jewish district, found some lunch, it wasn't too bad. I decided to do another tour today, so I've already done one, gonna do another. And this one is around the Jewish district, because I found it was so cool while I was there. I'm gonna go explore it with everybody else. I 
was a sight for my soul. Day three in Budapest. This city is pretty amazing, and I finally have someone to share it with. Walk by. Oh. Ah. Ah. There goes a sight from my soul. Ah. 